Speed up your workflow. Hey Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? Today we're bringing you a copy and paste tutorial from Power Director University. If you didn't know, using the copy and paste function can really help speed up your workflow and get things done a lot quicker. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways to copy and paste things in Power Director using Power Director 14. Let's get into it. Here we are in Power Director 14 Ultimate. And I'm about to show you how to get your copy and paste thing going on. But before I get started with that, I want to remind you of a few quick things. Remember to like this video, comment on this video, and share this video. It lets people know that the content in this video is good. All right? Now that we got that down, let's go ahead and get our copy and paste thing going on, shall we? First thing is... You can copy and paste any clip and place it where you want to. You can either do control C to copy it, or you can right click on a clip, select copy, place your cursor or your playhead somewhere where you want. You can select control V or you can right click and select paste. Now, if the playhead was, let's say here, and I right click and I select paste now, it's gonna give me some options. It's gonna ask me if I wanna paste and overwrite, which means it's going to paste it there and it's gonna place it right on top of whatever was there in that timeline and it's just gonna stay. So nothing moved when I did that, all right? The other option, right now that's available to me is paste and insert. If I do paste and insert, it's gonna paste it there but it's gonna move any clips on the same track over the same amount of space that it was before. So you see how I moved that clip over that time. And the last option here is if I select paste, I have paste, insert, and move all clips. So now what it'll do is if I select that option, it'll move any clips after that to the right. So any clips on the timeline. So if I got a bunch of clips after this and I want to insert it, but I want to keep everything else synced up to where it was, I would choose this option. Anything that was over to the right of it moves over to the right and keeps its relationship to any other clips or media that's in the timeline. All right. Pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy, isn't it? All right. Now, let's say I wanted to copy and paste multiple clips. I can click on somewhere in the timeline, any timeline track, doesn't matter where there's nothing. And if I hold my left mouse down, I will create a box. Or some people say it's a lasso, the lasso all the stuff. And anything that I have inside of this box will be selected. So these two tracks are selected. So if I select Control and C to copy both of them, or I can right click on one of them and select Copy. Now I can place my playhead somewhere. Let's place it at the end. And I can do control V to paste everything. Or I can right click and select paste. And it will paste both of those clips. All right. Now, if I want to, I can select, let's say I wanted to do everything. I can lasso everything if I wanted to. Or I can also do control A and control A will select all the clips on the timeline. And now I can do control C 
or I can right click on any one of these. Select copy. Place my playhead where I want to. And I can right click and select paste. And now everything has been pasted. Now also remember, I can take something from one track and place it on another one. So let's say I just selected this clip only. I can right click on it. I can select copy. Let's say I want it on track three. I can click on track three. I can right click. I can select paste. Let's do paste and overwrite so I don't move everything. And now it puts it on track three. So you can do that with any track. You can copy it from one track, paste it on another one. So what I can also do besides copy and pasting clips and moving them all over the place is I can copy keyframe attributes from one clip to another clip. Now, you can't copy and paste effects, um, but you can copy and paste things like cropping, motion, things like that. So if it's something that adds keyframes to a clip, you can copy that from one clip and paste it to another clip. It saves you a lot of time on your workflow because if you crop one picture at a time, it's gonna take forever. Or if you add motion to one video at a time, it's gonna take forever. Copying and pasting keyframe attributes saves you time in your workflow. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have this clip on the uh, third timeline track selected. If I were to go to modify, It opens up the PIP designer. So let's say I wanted to crop this video. If I clicked on object settings, and go down to the scale section, since maintain aspect ratio is checked, if I move one of these width or height, it's going to move both of them at the same time. So let's say I crop into this one. Now what I've just done is I've added the keyframe attributes to crop it and hold it at that position. So I'm going to click on save. Now if I right click on this clip, I can now go to copy keyframe attributes. Now I can right click on another clip and I can select paste keyframe attributes. It's going to tell me, Hey, if I have any other keyframes added here, I'm going to knock them all out by replacing them with the keyframes. I just pasted. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to click on okay. And when I do, you'll see this will crop immediately. Bam, it changed the cropping, changed the size of it. So now I've cropped in both of these clips. Now I could have did the same thing by selecting a whole bunch of them at once. And then I could right click and do paste keyframe attributes. And now all of these have been cropped in where before if I undo this, you'll see that they will go back to their original size. See? Easy peasy lemon squeeze me. All right. Now, besides the cropping, you can do other aspects of the PIP designer. So let's say I uh, stick with this clip here. I go to modify. And let's say I change something else is same. I change the keyframe attributes in a different way by adding some motion. So add this motion to it. And I'm going to click on save. So now you'll see that it moves not a snake like up to the top. So now let's say, Hey, I want to add the same thing to this clip. So I'm going to right click on this clip and I'm going to select paste keyframe attributes. 
Oh, you know what? I think I should copy them first, right? Let me right click on this, select copy keyframe attributes. And then I'll right click on this clip and select paste keyframe attributes. It'll give me that message. I hit OK. And once again, you get the little snaky motion on this clip as well. So that's it, people. Copy and paste to your freaking heart's content. All right, guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Show the thumb some love, people. Comments. Leave me comments. I will reply. I'll try to help you out, but if I don't have the answer, I'll point you in the right direction to help you get the answers you need. And lastly, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you'll be missing out on all of this power director goodness I bring to you. So make sure you subscribe so that you can see whenever I upload new content to YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.